Hey everybody, it's Geologist Taylor, and today we're at Deep Springs. Just five hours north of LA lies this beautiful playa that is just off of Highway 168 from Lone Pine heading into Nevada. Your first thought might be, what is a playa? And playa translated directly from Spanish means beach, but as you can tell, there is absolutely no water around us, and in fact, it's incredibly hot and very dry throughout much of the year. If you notice, we're surrounded on all sides, all 360 degrees, by a few mountain ranges. Up to the north are the White Mountains, and to my east are the Inyo Mountains. In short, a playa is the lowest part of an undrained basin, meaning we have all of this water coming from these mountain ranges into this basin. Right behind me are the White Mountains, and in fact, you will drive directly through them to get to Deep Springs and, if you'd like, to continue on to Nevada. And if you look, uh, you'll notice behind me that you'll see the mountains, of course, uh, but just below that, in the foreground, you'll notice that the land is sloping gently as it goes up into the mountains. Those are alluvial fans, and that is all the sediment that has been washed down towards Deep Springs Playa. And in stark contrast to the White Mountains to the north, directly behind me, the Inyo Mountains are very different, primarily because the Deep Springs Fault that runs directly parallel of this mountain range. And you'll notice we do have alluvial fans like we saw to the north, uh, but these are very small in comparison uh, to the ones that make up uh, on the other side of Deep Springs Playa from the White Mountains. And because we're surrounded on all sides by these mountain ranges, this basin is incredibly dry. Or is it? Now the ground I'm walking on currently is fairly rock hard. Most of this is a lot of clay. You can tell that from all the cracks that you see on the ground. These are desiccation cracks, or what everybody normally calls mud cracks. Now, playas can get their water sourced from several different methods. One, of course, is from rainwater. Two is from the runoff from these mountain ranges from that rainwater. And the third are natural springs, which is what we have here in Deep Springs. Now back to these mud cracks. The water in Deep Springs fluctuates. And the water here in Deep Springs, of course, as I mentioned, is sourced from the springs that are right behind me that are right along the Deep Springs Fault. And depending on how much water is coming out of those springs, it will flood the entire playa with water, and from that, when that water eventually evaporates, will leave behind salts primarily and some other minerals. And so, over different times of the year, we can imagine this whole entire five square mile playa getting filled up with water. And it's not a massive lake, it's only about a centimeter or two deep, but water is over the surface of the playa for much of the year. And when that water eventually starts to recede, mainly during the summer months, this surface starts to dry out and that mud and clay starts to contract, leaving behind these mud cracks. Now while this ground that I'm walking on right now is hard, the closer I walk towards the center of the playa, and the closer we get to those spring wells, the softer and muddier the playa gets. And at some points in the playa, you'll actually sink into the playa. And I've had many experiences with that, and I'll throw up some pictures of what that looks like. Now, because the spring wells behind me are a constant source of water to the playa, when they recede, they of course leave behind those minerals that I was talking about earlier. One of those mineral salt has been very important to this region and to a lot of playas around the Mojave region as well. And if you look off in the distance, you might notice some whitish color off in the distance, and that is the massive amounts of salt that are left behind on the playa. And in fact, if we go back into the early 1900s, there was once a levee that encircled the playa so that they could mine salt from deep springs. And so while we spent the past couple of minutes talking about the geology of deep springs, in just a couple of hours, the show goes from the playa to the night sky. Here's one of the darkest places in California. And in fact, you can actually see the Milky Way uh, on cloudless nights, uh, which in fact happened last night.
I hope you enjoyed this overview of the geology of Deep Springs, this very interesting place that is just off the beaten path of 395 passing through California. If you want some more cool, short, interesting geology videos, please like and subscribe below and hit that bell icon to be notified each week of a new episode.